I wrote a popular science book. It's about gobies and it has my photographs and some photographs by underwater photography legend Marty Snyder. Now, why gobies? These are fascinating little fishes. They're extremely beautiful. If you look at a goby through a macro lens, you, you will see spots, stripes, the most gaudy patterns and colors. Then, these are extremely species rich. In fact, the family of the gobies is the most species rich family of all bony fishes. There are about 2,000 known species of gobies. Furthermore, they do really interesting things. As you can see here in some of these clips, some of them live in a symbiosis with an alphage shrimp where they share a burrow underwater. There are so many interesting aspects of goby biology. So many species of gobies have co-evolved with invertebrate hosts. So either with corals, hard corals, soft corals, sponges, and they have taken up a coloration which so extremely matches these hosts. So that they are tricking the visual systems of the predators on the reef, which are eager to eat them. Now, yes, Lots of fish eat gobies, and while gobies are really small by themselves, there are so many of them that they actually constitute an important part of the food chain, of the food web in coral reefs, because they form a link between these, you know, small filamentous algae or tiny crustaceans and the, you know, smaller uh, mid-sized fish predators. In addition. There are so many gobies which have evolved, and uh, why is that the case? You know, so this brings us to the question: Why is there so much marine biodiversity in the Coral Triangle, this area between the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, and Eastern Indonesia? So, gobies really serve as an anchoring point to learn a lot of fascinating facts about marine biology. All of that is presented in this book. I'm using language which is accessible to lay people, but I'm not dumbing the science down the least. Gobies don't just live in the ocean. There are many freshwater gobies, and on tropical islands in mountain creeks, you can see a whole assembly of really pretty species of small gobies. Even in desert springs near Lake Eyre in South Australia, can you see gobies? Finally, there are amphibious gobies. Mudskippers have left the ocean and uh, split the time between the ocean and land. So, publishers of the world, unite, or don't unite, but give me a call. This is a good book. It will appeal to scuba divers, to aquarium hobbyists, and to nature lovers in general.